Hello guys, me and my team, me and my VIP subscribers, we have been killing the market. We have been milking the market, guys. You can see the profits are massive. The profits are massive. These days, especially boom 300, crash 300, jump, we have been killing it. You can see profits, profits, TP hit, TP hit, TP hit, all over. You can see analysis and all of that. Guys, let me share with you the strategy. Let me share with you some of them. Over now, as we speak, these are trades that we just took today. I gave the signal in the VIP. Guys, it's, we are almost hitting the target. This is powerful, guys. We are using 0 0.1 lot, which is huge profit, at least. Guys, you can see this is the analysis. Boom 300, I think, crash 300 too. We are, we are killing it. All right, crash 300. This is crash 300. We are killing it. This is the profits that we are making. So far, so far, so good. We are doing well. Okay. So, um, we have been killing jump too. Jump, jump 75. And right now, this is a potential setup. As you can see, this trade is going to sell. You can see how it has retested. So, let me share with you guys. Let me share with you guys the strategies. All right, guys, you can see our TP just got hit and price is now reacting to this trend line here. All right, so you can see I knew why I kept my TP exactly at this point. So we are in profit. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how I grow small accounts very fast without any stress. So I will start by showing you some of my profits that I've made and I will show you some secrets of growing small accounts. I'll show you all of my trades that I've taken in this and you see let's go to history. All right, this is history here. These are the trades that I've that I've taken. Look at how much profit I've made. A hundred and three dollars. This account was small and now it's grown up to be like two hundred and something dollars. All right. Okay. So what I'm about to share with you is important. If you look at my trade history, for instance, you are going to see my profits and I'll filter it. You see my losses down. So if you look at my losing trades very well, you are going to realize that from here, my the highest trade in which I lost is three hundred is a seven dollars which is mainly uh, the biggest trade, $7, you see $6, $5. So these are the trades that I lost so far, all right? So that is that, as you can see. And you realize that some of them were break even. So you can see it sounds like the rates are much, but the profits dominates. You can never avoid losing, but you can only cut down your losses. That's what will make you a profitable trader in the long run. Okay. This is $103 that I've made. You can see that the, the, the biggest trade in which I won is $22, all right? Whereas my biggest loss is $7. You can see the difference, all right? You see trades I make $13, $11, $14, $14, all right? You can see $6, $8, and all of that. So that's just to show you that what I teach you is what I practice, all right? I, I allow my winning trades to run close the, the, the losing trades. So let me share with you some of the strategy. I have an account here which is about ten dollars. Alright, this one other account that I've taken, which is about ten dollars. I'm going to grow the account. So let me go back to my chat. Oh, this phone. Oh, sorry. This is a new phone that I just bought and I'm trying to adapt to it. Okay. So if you go back to our charts now let me start by sharing with you guys the secrets that i use in trading okay start by analyzing crash 300 okay so what is my secret first of all i like trading with the trend i like to trade knowing where the market is currently going to all right so i start by going to the higher time frame so if i go to a higher time frame like in this situation you have seen here i make sure that i use my trend line properly I know that this was a downtrend that was clear and all of a sudden price came down and then hit a support zone which is around here so that's another point you make sure that you are buying when price is reacting to a support zone or a resistance zone and then you know the trend of the market those are the things you should take into consideration so after price hit this zone this was the previous low that we had all right so when price was moving in swing, like you can see, it created lower lows and lower highs, lower lows and lower highs. Like I said in the other videos, I explained the difference between reversal and change in trend. So you see here that price came here and then this was the previous low here. Price came down and went up. Okay, 
so when you wanna it got rejected at this trend line what happened is that price came back finally it broke the trend line and breaking the trend line is one sign that the trend might be changing all right so with that information in my mind now i start looking for buy setups in this case all right so i went out to smaller time frames I'm sharing with you why I've been winning most of my trades, guys. So I go to smaller time frames. I'm now looking for reversal patterns. So you can see from here, what I identified here is there is price is moving in this channel. This is a channel that price is moving in. And in this same channel, I identified this pattern, which is one of my favorite patterns that I like using, which is known as the bullish flag okay this is the bullish flag you see price move up which is an impulsive move it started retracing so this retracement is known as the pullback all right so this is they call it a, a, a correction the price is correcting and when it's correcting most of times it corrects in a pattern which is mostly known as the triangle the triangle pattern sometimes it could be the triangle patterns or the bullish flag in this situation in a downtrend will be a bearish flag this pattern is uh, uh is a popular pattern if you look in your charts very well so i know that now i'm looking for buy setups because of the information i took from a higher time frame so what i do now is that i try to identify these continuation patterns and these bullish patterns all right so you have to know them said because this is a continuation pattern most often most often price will break up so now i'm looking for buy setups see price comes down here and then coincide with this one here you can take a buy here at the first instance so price went up now what i did is that i identified that price broke out from the bullish flag all right when it broke out from this bullish flag it went up now it found rejection at the upper trend line of this channel all right so it came back now i was expecting price to come and retest price was coming back now it came back came back and then it got, retested this zone and then this way it got rejected so i saw the rejection now i know that that was a retest and then i took my order and when i take my order there i know that i have a high probability of winning the trade so you can see from here so price came it went up it got rejected it came back again it retested so price will likely be breaking through and it will be moving up let's look at boom 300 yeah boom 300 is the one we just took but um i went to a higher time frame like i said you always try to identify whether this is strong resistance or support zone so i realized that here there's a, a strong uh, supply around here this is number one point supply zone is going to push price at least to a certain extent downwards now you know that that's the first information you will now be looking for sell setups now you go to a smaller time frame now you start looking for patterns now you are using your trend lines and then all of that you are trying to identify double tops double top pattern in this situation heads and shoulders pattern because this is a reversal uh, because we are looking for a sell so this is what happened here in the h4 we have price formed a double top which is not a too perfect double top here and then it was consolidating around here now i took my trend line all right i connected these uh troughs so when i connected you realize that price has reacted to this trough a couple of times now what happened is that it finally broke out from the trough now it came back what happened here is that it retested remember i already took this trade and it has already hit my take profit as i showed you guys i even gave the signal in my vip group and now the guys that have made profit too so just from year to year it was like 13 dollars if you are using the smallest lot size so imagine if you are using a good lot size how much will you have that by the way from here a rejection candle around here i took my sell order and then i placed my tp here all right Take note of why I place a TP here because I realized that this zone it is a demand zone. This is a demand zone. Let me go to the 15 minutes and show you. So I realized that this is a demand zone around here. This is a minor support zone. And I, after I connected this trend line, I knew that when price gets here, it might be rejected. It get, it might, sometimes it gets rejected, it goes back, it retests before it comes back. All right so it's good to not be greedy and uh, you take your profits first if it comes and retest again you enter again the profit simple as that so things to take home number one if 
if you are trading make sure that you first identify whether there is a good demand zone a supply zone is there a force that can push the price to the direction in which you want to be trading number two you identify now identify what is the trend of the market if the trend is a downtrend now you are you should be looking for what bearish patterns we have many bearish patterns we have penance we have a uh, 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 triangles we have rectangle patterns we have bearish flags and that's just the opposite with an uptrend so you know now that you are trading using this following these patterns okay so with that you see that trading becomes very easy you have to put in your head in that you will not win every trade you take all right you there are trades that you are going to lose if you want to take a trade for instance there is a pair that I, uh, I missed this is jump i think that's jump uh 75 i don't want the video to be too long this is the same ideology that i'm explaining to you guys this, this trader actually missed it but it is the same thing that i've explained in the in the crash analysis and all of that so you see that what i'm trying to tell you here is that if you miss a trade don't jump into it for instance i wanted to take this trade around here but i missed it when i realized price was already down all right so some people because of impatience they will just rush and then they jump in you see that you now be needing a very huge stop loss if price happens to reverse and hit your, st your stop loss you see that you are going to incur a very huge loss which is not good and maybe your profits will not be able to cover up so what you should also take into consideration is that don't jump into trades make sure that if you have a small account for instance make sure that you take trades that will require a very small lot size what i usually do is that when the account is too small i go to smaller time frames after identifying my patterns in larger time frame i try to i catch sniper entries when i catch sniper entries my so that if price goes against me it's not going to wipe out my account now even if you have a large account so i would advise you not to jump into trades if you miss a trade you let it go so that's a very important thing that have caused people to lose huge sums of money and they try to revenge they come sometimes they revenge trying to get back the money and that's how they incur more and more losses so that is it guys that is it for today our recap is that you identify the the, the, the demand and supply zones second you identify the trend of the market you try to identify patterns and then very important you make sure that you don't jump into trades if you have a small account size don't take trades that will require a huge stop loss distance thank you guys for watching please if you are new to this channel just click on that subscribe button click on the notification bell so that whenever we post a new video you are going to get updated give me a thumbs up and you can share the videos with your friend i believe it's going to improve something in your trading arsenal it's going to help you grow in your trading journey Thank you. See you in the next video.